Okay, <clears throat> I can't mess this one up because this is going to be uh, the test, well, our first test, I guess, of this, and I, I really don't know how it's going to work. We'll see. But um, first test on the ground, you know, I've tested the the wheels out a little bit, uh, or as far as you know, you know, the, the motors turn and and go back and forth and left and right and whatnot. But uh, everything's packaged up. There's uh, not not much is hooked up. In reality, I'm having a problem with this sensor, and I have to pull out a uh, resistor pack and put in a bunch of variables so that I can um, go through and you know individually tune these through the comparators when they tune. And I, I'm not sure that this will work great on the carpet. I've only been pra practicing on white tabletop, so we'll see. So technically, these two sensors here are the only two hooked up, and I have this little piece of foam that I'm going to try to trip this thing to get it to, to you know, to turn. Um, right now, she's actually powered up. So we're all powered up. Our motor driver back here is uh, doing the slow pulse. That means it's happy. Um, we got power on our main controller. This is our motor and uh, controller. This this one back here is again all the subsystems and whatnot and communication with the laptop. I don't have a laptop hooked up right now. I don't need it. This is my <laughs> Jerry weird uh, way to not short out the bottom of this board because there's a piece of aluminum up here and I just haven't built the platform yet. Um, but I'll get to it. This guy here is really just haphazardly put on there. Um, a battery that hopefully will hold out. I charged it. I don't know if I charged it long enough. Again, power supply and kind of my interface board. And I guess we'll see how this goes. Here's our incoming power. So, it's not perfect, but it's on there. And uh, hopefully this little guy doesn't get away from me. So We'll see. This guy, I'm going to push this button, and if everything works out right, it's going to count to five in binary. So then the middle light will come on. And if the left light comes on when I put this foam underneath the, the to show that you know it's got a cliff, we'll actually see uh, that light come on. It should go through its sequence. So here we go. <laughs> that is funny. Uh, apparently I... <laughs> programmed one motor to go backwards. Oh, well, we'll see. Okay. It's backing up. Yep. <laughs> That's what happens when you don't pay attention. I put in a little hexadecimal 86 instead of an 87. That, that's funny right there, but actually it's convenient because I don't have to run it down. I was a little worried I was going to have to chuck my phone and, and run it down. But anyways, we'll try that one more time so you can see this thing trip. And I'm just going to put this here. So it's acting as if it's going to back up and then it's going to go back and just sing. So, uh, unfortunately, I don't have a handy way to turn this off other than... Uh, grabbing this guy and having to unplug it, so here goes nothing. Uh. Alright, say goodbye.